I wanted to run some tests on the Nikon Coolpix P610 to see how vibration reduction worked out with actual photographs. For this test I'm using the Coolpix P610 mounted on a rail. I also have a small keyboard mounted on a rail and this keyboard has a laser pointer built in. I have a rubber band around the pointer switch so it's always on when I'm shooting the picture and I have the camera and the laser aligned so that when they're pointing at the target when we have a control in process the laser pointer is very stable as seen here. When we have the camera and system handheld you'll see that the laser moves around quite a bit. For this test I've zoomed not quite to maximum. I used a thousand millimeter, 35 millimeter equivalent zoom, 1 30th of a second and f7.1. Controls are shot on a tripod. First one was with VR off. You can see that the laser is stable here. We're using an iPad for part of our image and if you zoom in uh, you can see that the image is crisp. You can also see in the 100th second place that digits are overlain because of 1 30th of a second shutter speed. Our second control again on the tripod with VR on. Again the laser is stable because we're on a tripod. Zooming in again on this image shows a crisp image and we had VR on and we're on a tripod and it doesn't seem to affect the image very much. Okay, we're going handheld with the camera now with VR off. We're holding the camera up to our eye with the eye level viewfinder and notice that the laser moves around quite a bit handheld. Zooming in on this image we can clearly see that there is some motion of the camera that is affecting the quality of the image. This time we're using the monitor about 12 inches from our body for a viewfinder. That usually makes a little more motion than usual. You can see here that the laser is moving around quite a bit. And as we zoom in on this image we can see that this image is also blurry because of the motion of the camera. Now we're going to handheld. We're turning on VR. Again, we're using the eye level viewfinder. You can see the motion of the laser. As we zoom in on this image, you can see that the image is sharp and the vibration reduction has been successful in creating a crisp image. Again, we are handheld with vibration reduction on and using the monitor as our viewfinder 12 inches from the body. The laser is moving around considerably. Again, as we zoom in on this image, we can see that the vibration reduction has yielded a quality sharp image. In summary, if we're using the camera on a tripod, we get a stable image whether VR is on or off. When we use it handheld, if we have VR turned off, the image tends to be not crisp, a little blurry because of camera motion. When we turn VR on, we have a tendency to get a very crisp image. The camera controls the shake and we end up with good images. All these shots were shot with a thousand millimeter telephoto which is not maximum by any means. Increasing the amount of telephoto will increase the amount of camera shake. Decreasing will decrease the amount of camera shake. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you make your decision about VR, when to use it and when not.